Hi everyone, uh, my name is Namir. I started the lifestyle brand a few years ago um, and we currently do uh, clothing, some, so, so fashion design, graphic design and um, coffee. So for the, for the clothing, I think it's, I think I started with the clothing because it's the easiest, it's not easy, it's just the easiest supply chain to break down in terms of um, like sourcing materials um, and like finding the right people I think that's that's one of the key things it's finding key people to, to work with so break that down I think I start with the I have a design in mind and then I I we, we make a mold first with with the design and then that gets printed onto some fabric with wax and then that's dyed in indigo and depending on what the color is that's usually dyed um, like to create the, the, the other color the contrast yeah um, and then after that's done it's we then we then have to actually manufacture the clothing so make the trousers or the shirts um, and then there's the quality control packaging and then sending off to our happy Koa tribe as I like to call everyone that's like supported um, over the years, and then the the coffee is slightly different because it's a completely different uh, product. It was finding the starting conversation with the right people, so I found this fantastic uh, company that has relationships with farmers around Africa. Um, and just so you know, for reference, this is what the coffee, the Koa coffee, looks like. Um, so I've called the first one Taraba um, after the state that I'm from in Nigeria. And basically, Taraba is a blend of Ethiopian and Nigerian coffee. Um, I wanted to sort of pay homage to roots and heritage. So with Ethiopia, with Ethiopian beans, um, that's where the that's where coffee actually originated from. And so I chose that as the as one of the beans to blend. And then Taraba, because um, it's the only the Mambela Plateau is the only place in Nigeria at the moment where coffee is grown, and it only seemed right because that's where I'm from as well my family are from um, so yeah and so what I wanted to do with this was to create a medium roast that people can enjoy um, at home and get people to just reduce their or stop their instant coffee consumption in Nigeria because it just doesn't taste like the real stuff so koa is a uh, household word it means each but it's actually short for koa de koa which in Hausa is, um, it means everyone. Um, with this idea that there is something for everyone. And hopefully in the future, with everything that we undertake, somebody, uh, someone's mom or a little baby will find something in the brand that's for them. I brought some my camera, started taking pictures and then writing about them. And that then, and then I found the name. I just liked, I saw it somewhere and then I liked the name. And I was keen to, get it registered like there and then and then um, build on that so I started with the name I came up with the concept it took about a year until I actually we actually came up with the first um, with the first blend and I was keen to do something different so with the, with the current blend that we have the Taraba you won't get anywhere else because no one's no first of all no one drinks Nigerian coffee I don't think a lot of people know that we grow coffee in Nigeria um, and then secondly the blend is unique to the Koa brand, and that's something I, I'm keen to, to keep, to keep alive. Is you're not going to get with the Koa with the Koa experience, what it, whether it be fashion or coffee or the hotel, you won't get it anywhere else. And so I was keen to explore or start this blend that you can't get anywhere else. So with the Ethiopian beans and the Nigerian beans blended together, the consistency. Um, the temperature that we, we roast it at, you, you just won't find it anywhere else. You usually have a, a caddy, right? Um, I haven't done anything amazing or innovative, but it's just a simple, like a sleek stainless steel tin. Um, and then I wanted you to first of all know that it's Koa, so that's a bit, that's bold. And then the blend is Taraba, so that's bolder. Everything else, like the logo and information about where it's roasted for instance is slightly smaller so unless you pick it up you won't see it but then 
um, it needs to be bold enough that you can you, like you know what it is but then not too hard on the eye that it's like what is this um, I think just exposure you know looking at Instagram looking through it, Pinterest um, going to supermarkets and seeing how people have done what they've done and then coming back to the drawing board and saying okay look this is these are the products out there this is what we're doing how do we stay aligned stay in line with what's been done but also carve out like a brand image for ourselves that you know speaks to who we are as a brand i think standardizing processes is a really key key goal for me i haven't written it out or anything but it just it's a it's something that keeps coming into my head um just being let down by different different people or having things delayed and then having to then pass that information on to customers is just it's not fun so i think standardizing processes is a is a key one and um, so that we can we have like a set amounts that we're doing and then we we keep to the target but i think yeah standardizing processes is is a key one i'm also hoping to get into the london coffee festival and have coa um you know be part of the festival um in london i'm not keen on being the the biggest just yet i want to get the product right i want to get the services right and then hopefully that just organically gets people talking about it or giving me feedback on how they feel honestly i'm keen to just get the products right because i think a lot of people in nigeria drink stuff bought off the shelves in supermarkets so like your instant coffees i don't want to mention any names but yeah they will literally just buy like a jar of instant coffee and brew that at home and that's fine it's just that there's this whole other world that i'm keen to change perceptions around i think i, I a key goal for me is to change people's ideas of what uh, coffee is or should be i think for most people coffee is a stimulant so it helps people work it helps them concentrate or stay awake whereas for me i want people to both enjoy the drink and want to drink it like while they're at work once you start to drink specialty coffee there's no way you're going to want to drink like instant coffee mm. god damn jimmy this some serious going man me and vincent would have been satisfied with some freeze-dried taster's choice right <laughs> and he brings this serious going man on us and it's just trying to understand get people to understand that it's not just this drink that you you drink when you want to wake up or like be hyper um, it actually tastes fantastic. It's a cafe latte. Mm -hmm. What is that? Milk? Milk. Uh, milk and coffee. Coffee, yeah. Milk and coffee. Who would have thought? Um, and it could be, it's like drinking, it's like eating, once you've eaten really good food and someone tells you to like eat like really bad food, you're kind of going to be like, mm, maybe not. <laughs> if someone asked me when I first woke up, I think an Americano or like a long black um, cup of coffee. No, thank you. I take it black. Like my man. Mm, yeah, it's double E F O C. A W O K. Quinoa. Uh, Q U I N O A. Manage it. That's, that's number one. Just manage it. I love it. Another one is do you take? Like in a wedding, they're like, do you take this? I'm like, take it to where? Um, and then I think the last one has to be bros. That I hate, but I love because of the familiarity. Like, I don't need to know you, but there's like a, I'm just kind of like, uh, I ain't your bro. <laughs> Fireboy DL, Fireboy DL, and his song, the song that I like is Vibration. Banana bread, chocolate chip cookie, and... A banana. Yeah. The Alternative Network.